Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Spookalot, here, and folks, we are here today with an awesome announcement. It seems the first 7th generation Pokemon has been announced. And I'm saying 7th generation because, folks, this isn't... They haven't made any mention of this Pokemon until just today, which is uh the 10th of February in 2016. And it seems we have the new Pokemon... Magiana is I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced Magiana it's M-A-G-I-A-N-A -A -A. and it seems this Pokemon there's not much information about it now except that it's going to be in the new Volcanion movie coming up which I think is a nice little thing they're showing off 7th generation by showing off the last Pokemon of 6th generation that we've not been able to use or seen so pretty much we've got Magiana the man-made Pokemon and I know what you're thinking, folks. Man-made Pokemon, That's that sounds kind of dumb when you think about it. Because there's a lot of Pokemon that are already man-made. There's Porygon, the Porygon line. There's, I wouldn't say Voltorb's man-made, but I don't know. There's Magnemite. Magnemite are technically a man-made Pokemon. There's, uh, I'm trying to think of some other, like a lot of steel types that are kind of robotic in nature. Uh... Golurk is man-made. The Go uh, Golette and Golurk are man-made Pokemon. So it's kind of weird that they just suddenly go, this is a man the man-made Pokemon. Like, this is the only thing that makes it stick out. Personally, design-wise, I am loving this thing's design. It looks so interesting. Also, something that kind of makes it really interesting, and I'm hoping we get to see it, because if it is like I think, from looking at the design, folks... From looking at the design, what I'm thinking it's going to be able to do, because if you look at if you look at the picture that we're providing you folks, you can see it looks kind of like a Pokeball. It's got like a Pokeball like dress, and then it's got like a little circular top to the part to the top part of it, and then it looks like at the very top, its little ear things kind of look like they clip, kind of look like a beetle's wings almost, like they could clip, they bend and clip in. So what I'm thinking is, folks. That the way this Pokemon could probably work is it doesn't ch it can change into like a Pokeball almost. I don't know how big from what I'm seeing, um, it's one meter tall, so that's I I'm I'm horrible when it comes to meters, folks. Even if it's like I, I can't remember what it is. I want to say it's like three feet, something like that, around three feet. So that's a three foot tall Pokeball. That's big, but still. And again, I could be saying it's completely wrong, but. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is they haven't announced a type yet, which I find very fascinating. Because, let's face it, folks, it's a man-made Pokemon. It's got gears coming out of its head. It's obviously part steel. But the interesting part of that is, what's the other type? Because it's obviously part steel, but the fact that they'd go out of the way of saying, no one know we don't know what the type is yet, kind of interesting. It makes you think. It makes you wonder. Maybe this Pokemon is a steel fairy type. Maybe it's a steel electric type. Maybe it's steel... Um, that's really the only two types I see with this thing. It's either steel electric or steel fairy. Maybe it's a steel... Fire type? No, that really doesn't make much sense. I don't know. But still, like the fact that this thing looks the way it does. It looks like it's a Pokeball. It looks like it could fold into a Pokeball. Like one of those little transformer toys you can buy when you were a kid. Which I think they still have, but I don't think they do like the actual transforming, transforming part. Which kind of makes me sad. Yeah, it's sad days when the transformer toys stop transforming into cars. But, either way, from what I'm seeing, and from what the movie description now says, it said that there's a new movie summary for it. It says this. As Ash and friends continue their journey, Volcanion drops down from the sky in front of them. Volcanion's object is... To uh, objective is to recover Magiana, who has been abducted by the Azeroth Kingdom. So I think we know who the protect the antagonist is. A city of super machinery. However, Volcanion and Ash become linked together by a strange device, I'm guessing they're trying to say. Or handcuffs or something like that. But uh, will the two be able to manage to work together and save Magiana? So... From what I'm seeing and what I'm thinking, this is going to be the classic, 
Uh, Volcanion doesn't trust humans, so Ash is going to help him figure out, uh, is going to help him start to understand humans like humans. And it's going to be the whole, oh, Volcanion used to be friends with a human kind of scenario that they've shown so often in Pokemon. Stop. I'm sorry, folks. One of my dogs is freaking out. We got a new cat in the house recently, and she is like freaking out because she's not used to new animals being in the house. Will you calm down? Go. Just don't attack. Little miss. Sorry about that, folks. I'm sorry if you hear the growling. If you hear, yeah, if you hear barking in a moment. One second. All right. Sorry about that, folks. But yeah, it looks like that's going to be the classic trope about that. Um, so either way, folks, I'm excited for Gen 7. I really am. And it looks like I'm like blowing up my mic and I can't tell if I am or not. Turn this down a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it looks a lot better. But um, pretty much that's all I really have to say about it is I'm liking the design. I'm, if I had to predict, I'd say it's probably going to be either Steel Fairy or Steel Electric. It's going to be in the movie, and uh, it's the man-made Pokemon. It was oh, there's actually more to this. Hold on, created by f humans 500 years ago, it possesses a metallic body. Text confirm confirms it was made by human hands. It is a mythical Pokemon. So mythical Pokemon, for those of you who don't know, are like Mew, Jirachi, uh, Manaphy. Pokemon you don't. Pokemon are like the super rare Pokemon you don't get to see. So, the fact that this thing was made by human hands is kind of interesting. That makes, me, that makes me wonder, character-wise, how it's going to act. If it's going to act kind of robotic, it's going to be kind of stiff with emotion. Uh, is it going to be like the classic, oh, this robot's learning how to care about humans kind of situ situation? Or is it going to be the, oh, it already knows how, hu uh, how to act around humans and this is going to teach it humans can be evil which is going to scare it from humans but yeah enough about movie plot and such honestly i think this is going to be the first of the seventh gen pokemon and i think it's going to be the fun the most interesting one so far like if we start getting more and more i'm going to make my decision about that when gen 7 hits the market but we're learning and that's all that matters so there's not really much else to say about Magiana or Volcanion or Ash or any of that fun stuff. I think it's actually about time we end off the episode. So um, I want to thank you all for coming. It's been an awesome time talking about this new powerful Pokemon. And if you want to, folks, comment down below what type you think Magiana could be. Because I'm, like I said, I'm vote, I'm, uh, I'm almost 100%. It's gonna be Steel Fairy, but you never know. They could hit us out loud field. They could just, it could be a uh, Steel. Steel ice. <laughs> that that would be the. Ho that would be Aurora. So it would just get smacked in the face with a low kick and die. But yeah. Anyway, folks. Again, comment down below what type you think Magiana could be. And if you haven't already, make sure you go swipe the like button and hit the subscribe button to show your support for this channel and everything that we do. Other than that, folks, I think it's time I say goodbye. I'm Spookalai, and I'll see you all later. So stay spooky, folks.